First question from uh, Junes Megano. Foresight on property investing in New Clark City. For the major players doon, do you do you know na mga developers in sa area na yun? Since connected that we're talking about New Clark City, I want to talk about a question by John G. Luis. Sabi niya, how do you spot a property that will boom for the next years, like the next New Valley, next BGC? What are the criteria that you need to know? What's your take on people investing naman near sa mga resort areas, like for example, sa Vicente Palawan, or sa Bohol, or sa La Union, or sa Siargao, uh, banking on tourism? There's a question from... Sino kaya? Ito na, ito na muna. Excel Vargas. Good day, sir. Is buying a house in a gated subdivision profitable for buy and hold at least 10 years? Pag ganun, they buy land, mas maganda ba patayuan nila kagad? Kasi pero magde-depreciate kasi yung house kung plano nila bent and tape. Ah, so yeah. they just keep the land. They just keep the land na lang. Ito naman from ano, Bernice Ten Chavez. Uh, Hi, Boss Marvin. It seems that the rent has been less than the mortgage for quite some yes. time. Not luxury condo. Is it still good to invest in real estate if year on year you're losing money and the value of the condo doesn't keep up with inflation. Ito, tanong ni Maki Vido, sabi niya, what percentage of one's income is considered healthy in paying for home loan amortizations? When, to, when do you decide to purchase or rent a house or a condo? In this video, we answer all of your questions about real estate from flipping, from buying, renting, about leasing, and everything else in between. You can consider this actually a crash course already in real estate. For those who don't know anything about it, I hope you learn a lot from this. And we have of the real estate expert here answering your questions so check this video out hi everyone please subscribe to marvin germos youtube channel and click that bell right now yes please click it please click it so enjoy the video So in this video, we answer all of the questions that you guys sent out all about real estate. We have Richard Carvajal, CEO of Phil Gems. So Isai Sar, are you ready? Yes, I am okay. excited. So yes, again. Do this. Be before we, we begin, any inspirational uh, item experience in real estate na nabago niya buhay mo na talagang guys sobrang yaman. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 how did real estate change your life? Well, a lot. Malaya, malaya. I was in corporate prior to real estate. So in real estate, ang 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 dami talaga ng yare. Of course, uh, na ano ko yung mga nagawa ko yung mga gusto ko. Pero it more than that, kasi it's it's the passion, eh, you know. It it's the it's not about the commission as well. It's okay. probably more on the mission. Tung ginagawa namin dito. So um, you know, uh, just. Sa akin talaga, it's about the passion, regardless kung ano yun eh, kung real estate or stocks or whatever. Um, if you do something you love, magbabago talaga yung buhay mo. Okay, game. First question from uh, Junes Megano. Foresight on property investing in New Clark City. Ah, okay. Sige. Uh, New Clark City kasi is not located in Clark. <laughs> FYI. Uh, okay, so in terms of zonal, it's going to be lower than the actual Clark City. Uh, pero, of course, uh, anywhere naman na may township siya, anywhere na, if I'm not mistaken, dyan gagawin ng SEA Games, mm -hmm. di ba? Dyan ng SEA Games. So, ibig sabihin, na-develop na yung infrastructure niya. Okay. Pag nauna yung infrastructure and then sumunod yung residential development, then probably it will be a good investment. At saka maganda dito sa New Clark City, bago. So, you can still ride the market or you can still ride with it. So, wala pang masyadong price increase na nangyayari. Um, uh, the developments, marami pang upcoming developments dito sa New Clark City and it's a Class A urban plan okay. uh, city. So, ibig sabihin nun, pagka Class A urban plan ka, not after uh, not after many years magka-traffic na siya or mapapabaya na siya or maluluma na siya. Mm. Just like the cities before. It's, it's really gonna start modern and it's it's well preserved. It's gonna be maintained. So, I think it's a good investment in terms of the asset itself. And of course, the value na pwede mo makuha dito sa nuclear. For the major players doon, do you, do you know na mga developers sa area na yun? Uh, I'm not familiar eh, okay. with nuclear city kasi okay. usually um, uh, I was ano, with BCDA lang. So mm. it's parang semi-government organization. So okay. right now, sila pa lang nagde-develop ng mga infrastructure. Pero maraming up coming kaya lang dahil wala pa silang HLURB permit bawal pa namin. Ano yung sabihin nun? HLURB? Housing land. Ayun. 
housing land uh, regulatory board so ibig sabihin dito uh, pag bibili kayo ng property always look for the HLURB permit kung wala silang HLURB permit then ibig sabihin illegal sila to sell hindi sila inapprovan ng regulatory board ng housing regulatory board to sell a property <laughs> okay In interesting since connected that we're talking about New Clark City I want to talk about a question by John G. Luis sabi niya how do you spot a property that will boom for the next years like the next New Valley, next BGC, what are the criteria that you need to know? Uh, okay, well, of course, dapat kompleto yung property, of course. Uh, usually, sabi ko nga, mauna muna yung infrastructure. After infrastructure, um, corporate companies would go there, like the IT companies, the BPO, they, they would start going there. Pag nandun na yung mga BPO, syempre, um, there's job opportunity, lilipat na rin din. And then, the people are gonna start moving there. Then, there's gonna, then after that, magkakaroon ng school. And then, after that, magkakaroon ng uh, play area, when you say play area, shopping area, so it eventually becomes a township. But remember this, uh, property development uh, or a township development na hindi siya agglomerated. It means it's not connected to the main, wala siyang inf uh, connection with in terms of infrastructure or ano, will not uh, really progress okay. in terms of ano. Kasi for, for for a country to, like for example, dito sa Manila, for example, sabi la, oh, okay, uh, decongest Manila, let's just build Manila outside mm. the Philippines. Mm. For for a country to progress, kailangan agglomerated yung country. Ibig sabihin, interconnected siya. Ibig sabihin, may access siya sa Manila. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, it's easy to go from one point to the capital or one point to another. Let's say, for example, Japan. Anywhere in Japan, it's very well agglomerated. Mm. For example, because if not, the city will progress itself. For example, Mandawi, ma ay, uh, so, sorry, uh, Marawi, for example. Marawi, uh, if you build certain, ano dyan, pero hindi siya connected sa city, it cannot progress okay. on its own. So, in determining ano na, yung access, yung infrastructure, yun yung mga una mo kailangan tignan. So that, that's why I uh, New Valley probably will be good because yes. there's a lot of work done. Calax is Calax is and there, daan, then uh, SF is there. So they're they're building so many roads in that mm. area. Tapos yung question about New York City, uh, at least malapit din siya sa mga major infrastructures and highways yes. na ginagawa din. Uh, in the area, may airport pa sila. Ah, kasi mas agglomerated siya, wala siyang problem kasi okay. connected siya sa capital. Kasi mm. imported pa rin ano siya. Uh, that's the typical uh, basics of urban planning. Mm. Uh, What's your take on people investing naman near sa mga resort areas like for example San Vicente Palawan or sa Bohol or sa La Union or sa Siargao uh, banking on tourism? Uh, it's a different market now. If you're gonna invest in this uh, market just to um, hold and sell without building a business, without building a coffee shop, mm. then medyo high risk. Okay, wow. Siya kasi yun yung, yun yung parang misconception na iba, bilhin na lang ako sa malayong lugar kasi mura pa, tapos iwan ko for a long period of time. That's ris ano, risky pala. It's supposed to be income generating property or okay. as magiging liability siya Galing. for this one. So, okay. yun. Interesting, interesting. Daming questions mga, okay ka ba? 300 questions to, Joe. Okay. Uh, there's a question from Sino kaya? Ito na, ito na muna. Excel Vargas. Good day, sir. Is buying a house in a gated subdivision profitable for buy and hold at least 10 years? <laughs> it depends again kung saan to eh. Okay. Sa, saan kaya yung house? Walang, walang yeah. sinabi. So, walang sinabi. Pero, rule of thumb sana siguro. Ah, yeah, pero buying house and lot, well, okay. Let's say, for example, as long as hindi siya flood prone, mm. as long as hindi siya fault line or hindi siya ano. You can check Philvox website okay. to ano, para ma-check yung fault line and dost.gov.ph para ma-check kung flood prone siya. So, I think kung hindi naman yun, then there is the ano, uh, chance of progression dyan sa property na bibilhin mo. Okay. Um, 10 years is long enough to buy and hold okay. actually so kung maganda talaga yung property kaya niya na i-double yung value pag, pag, I, have, I have a follow up on that though pag ganun they buy land mas maganda ba patayuan nila kagad kasi pero magde-depreciate kasi yung house kung plano nila bent and take ah, so yeah, they just so keep the land they just keep the land na lang ah uh, Usually, kasi anong gagawin mo for 10 years eh? Paparenta mo ba or gagamitin mo ba? Okay. Kung land lang, actually, ang land pag ano, uh, the means baka mataksang ka na idle land or ad valorem if nakalatag lang yung land po doon. Okay, okay. So, yan yung ginagawa. I think better tayuan okay. din as well kasi para mag-generate ng income. Kasi kung land lang, hindi siya income generating pero capital appreciation returns mm -hmm. lang okay. siya. 
Got it. Next, ito naman from ano, Bernice Ten Chavez. Uh, Hi, Boss Marvin. It seems that the rent has been less than the mortgage for quite some yes. time. Not luxury <laughs> condo. Is it still good to invest in real estate if year on year you're losing money and the value of the condo doesn't keep up with inflation? Okay. Uh, sige. Um, medyo dalawa yung issues niya dito. Okay, eh. okay. So, one is uh, lesser yung uh, mortgage. It means hindi nagsiself-liquidate yung property. Mm. It means yung binabayad sa kanya for rent hindi enough para ibayad niya sa amortization mm. sa bank. So, hindi nga self-liquidating yung property. But, you have to remember that there are two aspects in condominium investing. One is rental income. Second is capital appreciation. So, you still have to check on capital appreciation niya. Pero, um, rental income naman kasi, it's not um, well, it can self-liquidate pero after the net operating income kasi after paying all the taxes association dues uh, repairs maintenance etc you're not really naman para supposed to cover everything eh. pero at least it helps i'm sure it at, at least 50% of your amortization will be covered by rent so it's still good enough it's bad pagka 20% lang amortization mo ang cover ng rent mm, yeah so okay. yun yung measure kita yung second issues niya is sabi niya property prices are not keeping up in, with inflation mm. anong maybe you're pointing out na yung um, peak na nandun na siya sa peak niya so parang hindi na siya nag i-increase pero so far it is ano kasi ang RFO slower yung growth niya compared sa pre-selling mm. so um because nandun na siya na sa peak na siya eh. okay so um you might want to exit if you're not happy with it and look for another property na may potential pa for growth and by the way you know inflation is below 1% so i'm sure that uh, the i think the growth this year will beat inflation since inflation is very very uh, uh, low oh mababa inflation ngayon anyways uh eto pa Tanong naman ni Christina Opulencia. Hi Sir Marvin, will demand for property continue to rise? Yes, there's influx of Chinese affecting the prices of condos to go higher, but should new regulations and the incoming president will not continue supporting Pogos, what will be the possible effect of the properties? Well, it's gonna crash. Because <laughs> it's a speculative prices. Eh. So the Chinese prices are not the real price mm. of the property. So if there's Chinese market in the area, mo, no, that's not the real price of the property. So always look at the price that people are willing to buy it or rent it, even hindi sila Chinese. And the um, best solution dito is if you put them in one area, lang, then one area lang yung mag crash. So maybe you can look at other areas na hindi masadong affected ng Chinese market para less riskier siya. Okay, great ah. answer. Ito naman, Eric Acuna. Is condominium in EDSA and Pioneer good for investment? Ah, yan yung ano, misconception ng mga tao na pagka nasa EDSA, definitely mag-appreciate yung ano. But at the end of the day, it boils down, sino yung market mo? Bakit ka mag invest sa Pioneer or EDSA? Uh, usually, Pioneer and EDSA mga yapis yan. Pero the thing with Pioneer and EDSA, usually the market is usually uh, more on parang co-sharing, okay. parang communal ah, living. But okay. yung parang sometimes in a studio unit, uh, apat sila, they're paying 5,000 pesos each. So, 20,000 yun. Baka mas mahirap lang siya i-manage. From, from, from what I know. Pero in terms of capital appreciation, um, yes, there is still potential in EDSA. Kaya lang ang um, with with that market kasi is live work play. Kailangan dun na kasi medyo ma-traffic mm. yung area na yan. Okay. Pero um, if you're planning to invest, kaya pa naman. There's potential. It, um, it depends lang kung paano mo i-maximize yung investment. I have a question dun. So yung mga ganun, yung communal, uh, may isang tao siya talaga yung nag-rent. Siya na bahala mag-sublease dun sa iba niyang kasama or normally magkakaibigan yun or office mate yun. O taraw, ano tayo, bibili na lang bank pet tapos hati-hati tayo. How well, usually subleasing is not allowed. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so usually subleasing is illegal eh. <laughs> Unless it's okay, silent okay. in a contract. Okay. But um, I, usually uh, people would come to you as a real estate owner. Um, apat kami, okay lang ba bank beds na lang. Mm. So kaya ang tendency dito is may magbeti. Pag yung isa kawari naglipat ng trabaho or nag-abroad, then yung tatlo, hirap na sila lang magbayad. Okay, okay. For example, so ito yung mga issues ng mga property owners sa area na yun. Okay. Uh, how about ano naman? This is a question from Raymond Nano. How about Arca South in Taguig? Is it a good investment also? Uh, Arca South in Taguig, well, it's an Ayala investment. So definitely it's a good investment. But then when they launch Arca South, um prior uh, I think it was launched in 2014-2013, I think. It was very high already. Mm. It was very expensive already but they, they they had a good payment term so um 
Arca South is a small uh, township lang siya eh. Okay. Parang small ano lang siya. So um if you can spot a uh, good price as well, like um below the current selling price kung merong nagbebenta below the current prices then it can be a good investment. Will, Kailangan issue ko dito yung access and traffic na uh, <laughs> Will it help ba na dadaan yung subway doon pag natapos pero matagal pa naman yun saka, Ayan, saka uh, babagsak yung skyway uh, doon does that help appreciate the value also or or later on pa yun uh, after everything is said and done? Ayan, yeah. The, uh, it will appreciate pag done na siya. The more inf- infrastructure will always increase the property. Mm. So any connection going to another city in Manila will always increase so, kung matutuloy yan, then it's a good investment. Okay, ito, ito gusto ko. Yung question natin, ikaw magbasa, yung na, pinaka nasa baba, please read na lang, tsaka kung sino siya, go. Your vlog with Idol Richard Carvalho was yung, the best. Name niya, name niya muna, name, name, name. <laughs> Ay, ito pala, si Gigi oh. Navales Bitoy. Oh. Your vlog with Idol Richard Carvalho oh, was the Idol, best oh. real estate oh. investing video I've seen, Sir Marvin. Wow, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> thanks. Kahit naliligo sa kanag lalaba ko, paulit-ulit ko pinapakinggan. Yung kasi napaka-informative. Oh. Keep it up, Sir Marvin. Uh, hindi, sa'yo nga daw eh. Sa'yo nga daw, it's actually you, it's actually you. Thank so, you. Uh, yeah. so, <laughs> Thank you. You, you can, I know, you can get in touch with him. Where, how, if, when people want to get in touch with you, Instagram website. How, what's the best way to get in touch with you? Ah, yeah, uh, Instagram ko it's at rcarvahal, mm. and then uh, my website it's at realproexpert.com. Or you mm. can uh, like me on Facebook. It's Richard Carval dash the real pro, mm. and message lang ako if you have questions. Okay, ngayon. Iba ba jam pa di ko sa gute? Oh, madam, 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 madam. Okay, kapa? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Sige. Uh, MJ Isidro, hi Marvin. More on foreclosed properties and Airbnb. What's your take on it? Uh, foreclosed property, hindi ako expert. <laughs> okay, okay. Meron, meron tayong mga kilalang mm-hmm. expert dyan sa foreclosed property. Uh, foreclosed property, caution lang. Ingat lang, um, hindi siya kasing simple ng tingin niya about buying na uh, foreclosed na siya. People would like to buy foreclosed property kasi mura siya. Pero it comes with a lot of paperwork. It comes with a lot of rules and regulations so may mga retro ano yan so parang pwede mabawi yung foreclosed property pag nabili mo na so to, to give a little detail so it actually depends on the property bidding prices din yan mm. etc so if you wanna buy foreclosed property I suggest you just subscribe sa bank foreclosures and then they would usually send out kasi easier din to process pag galing sa kanila um, Airbnb not all condos allows Airbnb I used to have investor bumili sampung condos for Airbnb daw pag turnover pinagbawal yung Airbnb so paano yun? Oh, Wala know, na, yeah, so long term leasing ah. pero sabi ko nga Airbnb could double triple your compared to monthly long term rental especially if mababa yung vacancy rate so the thing with airbnb uh, when you're buying a condo for airbnb make sure you read the deed of restriction or the master deed mm. so you said kanina S- smdc they allow airbnb no mm. smdc dmci dmci yes they do ayala depends on the project, project. mega world uh mega world not anymore okay uh, robinson's no R- robinson's vistalan Yes, they do allow it. Okay, Ar- uh, Artalan. I'm not sure that okay. Artalan. <laughs> Shangri-La. They don't allow. There's don't a penalty allow. of, mm. I think, 50,000 pesos Whoa. if you have a short term visit overnight. Wow, okay. Next question. Uh, ito, ito, ito interesting. Si Edna Ogyagurin. I'm going to buy a commercial lot, but I will be in debt. Is this reasonable? This would be my first time to be in debt, so I'm scared to have debt. In that, ibig sabihin na magla-leverage. Oh, so, yeah, I yeah, assume yeah, yeah. Uh, she'll, uh, she'll just pay uh, 20%. I think, uh, or I mean like even how much is equity. Um, Commercial land would usually be income generating. It depends on how you use it. So, I think it's okay. Uh, wag, wag, wag kayong matakot mangutang sa bank. Especially now, we have good rates. Mm. Kaka-check ko lang. Wag, wag kayong matakot kasi you need credit as well. Mm. Uh, you need credit scores as mm. well. So, um, it's good pero um, better if yung bibilin mong land magkakaroon ng income generating to help you pay the loan. Okay. Or ano. So, it's your, ano eh, how much giving, di ba? Ilang percent yung giving. So, kung takot ka, di, ano lang, dagdagan mo yung down payment tapos lesser lang yung loan mo sa bank. Okay, ito, uh, yung, ilan yung rates ngayon? Uh, can, do you still remember? Five, five years? Six. Six, okay. uh, five, six percent. Uh, sa okay. uh, three years fix would be around 5.5 right now. Sa latest na chinek ko. Okay, ito, very, very interesting. We have a Chinese qu- Chinese uh, comment of, her name or he or, he or she's name is Piao. 
question niya, is SMDC at the Bay worth <laughs> investing even at its price? Yan, sakto. <laughs> Baka ma, ano ako dito na. <laughs> <laughs> ah, talaga? <laughs> Personally speaking, uh, I don't think so anymore kasi I think it's quite crazy. If you compute it per square meter, 22-24 square meter for a 7 0.5 million property. I've never seen anything like that. That's probably the most expensive <laughs> development if you okay. take it that way. If you take it per square meter, mm -hmm. uh, in terms of I know. So um, for I, I do believe that it's a speculative price. Um, it's you know it's speculative when the Chinese market is the only market mm. in the area. Mm -hmm. So um, however, sabi ko nga, if you can get uh, lower than the current price kasi may mga nagse-sell naman na lower diyan around 5 million 5.5 then i think okay lang pero with the current price right now that the developer is giving us uh i won't personally i won't invest in that area i'll put my money elsewhere okay galing galing mm. galing ito uh daming question okay ka pa okay pa rin okay yes, pa rin yes i'm okay. enjoying sige, this sige sige <laughs> uh let's see uh Kaya mo mag-forecast ng, ng interest rates on loans. Do you think it's gonna go higher, it's gonna go lower? That's a question of Eunice Soto naman. Will interest rates this year go lower or higher? Uh, uh, medyo, ano eh, hindi, hindi ako forecasting okay expert lang, eh. Pero ang masasabi ko lang dyan is uh, usually, uh, I think it's gonna go lower because the inflation rate is going lower. Mm. Pero kasi, Hindi natin masasabi ko ano mangyayari sa 2020 or the following year. Um, one single event can rock the interest rates. So it's really gonna depend. Pa. Pero right now, uh, take advantage kasi ang ganda ng rates. Ngayon. Okay. I wanna say something about the rates. No? Please remember this. Yung rates last year, the BSP increased rates last year for a couple of things. Number one, they needed to defend the peso. Kasi yung dollar last year, it was going 54, 55 na. And the way for them to prevent the peso from deteriorating and the dollar from appreciating was they needed to increase rates. Ngayon, mababa na inflation, tapos mababa na yung dollar, there's no need for them to increase the rates even further. So, if you're asking it from November 2019, if there's a threat for rates to go up, it might be even lower pa. Tapos nag-cut pa sila ng RRR. Uh, uh, so, that means it will infuse more liquidity and cash into the markets as well. So, yun. Yes. Ito, may tanong sa'yo. Uh, you wanted to share about this also. So, very, very timely. Tanong ni Lord Win Posadas. What's your take on REITs? Yan, sakto. Ah, okay. okay. REITs, very, very Mag nice. Mag-uusapan nga dapat natin ito. Oh, Hindi nga lang natin naro, pero sakto, sakto uh, okay, lang, sakto so, lang yeah, din. Okay, okay. REITs. So, so I, I majored in real estate investment finance. So, mm. it means uh, we all we talk about is REITs. Okay, diba? okay. In, and, so, um, REITs was invented um, in the 1960s, for people who cannot afford to invest in real estate, in the actual property, it, it was invented for an equal opportunity for everyone to be able to invest in the property market. So that's the opportunity. So dun pa lang, maganda na yung purpose ng REITs, mm. di ba? And um, the REITs, so far, we don't have a REITs in the Philippines, so wala tayong historical data mm. on this. Um, but the REITs in the Philippines um, was... Uh, approved since 2009 so since 10 years ago but no developer would like to enter REITs for the last 10 years because I think there were some things about the taxes that are not It's actually the minimum public offering or okay. the public float because uh, like other uh, other countries kasi the public float would only be would only record 10 to 30 percent okay. sa atin 67 percent oh, masyado mataas naman masyado mataas oh. sobrang taas diba to give it to the public so parang sa developer parang why would we enter that kung parang lugi lang diba? but but the thing with the REITs is REITs is really really good avenue especially if you don't wanna manage uh, real estate or wala ka tayong magana real estate or ayaw mo na obligation but um the thing with REITs is you have to know kung saan ini-invest yung REITs mm. what kind of property are they um using uh, what, what type of property are they buying from the REITs or from the fund raised from REITs mm. diba so for example uh in the usually in other countries, ang mga successful REITs are hospitals, mm. uh, kasi income generating property. It it has always to be an uh, income generating property. So I think um, Ayala Land, being the first company who will offer REITs in the Philippines, they're planning to um, use the money to invest in the um, 
Ayala Exchange. Mm. So uh, that's uh, that's the building in Makati, commercial building in Makati. Because I we only had one percent vacancy rate don. So ibig sabihin malaki yung kung maginvest ka ng rates don, malaki yung income na babalik sa yon. But I, I I really really hope that rates would push through already. Because it's about time. It's mm. the right time. <laughs> R E I T right time. Mm. It's, it's it's the right time already. We we really need REITs already. It's it's another good investment of REITs. Pag may market bubble, or if we're going to a market bubble, okay yung REITs. Kasi income generating lang yung basis niya. Eh. Especially pag commercial properties, long term lease yan. So mm. hindi sila masyadong affected because they have to run the business. Ito magulat ka. I've been investing in REITs since 2013. Uh, wow. Oh, 2013. Magulat ka. One Sento, of, sa Singapore? Singapore, Singapore, Singapore. Mm. One of the yields that I'm getting right now, 12% uh, dividend yield from REITs. Ano naman siya? Data centers. So data ba- centers. bakit data center gusto ko? Kasi and for sure yan, long term lease na kagad yan for that area. That's right. And That's right. the trend is technology will just get even. Uh, I guess the need for data centers because you need more data, you need more hardware to store it. Lalaki lang ng lalaki yan. So the potential for them to uh, use that that area will just be there over the next few years also. Uh, ako, I like, ano, kung pwede lang mag reach, I'll, I'll be building my own reach. kaya lang kailangan dito listed eh. Mm. So, I'm not in yeah, that level. Yeah. Pero if I'm building my reach, gusto ko warehouse and logistics. Oh, because with the pwede. rise of the e-commerce pwede. and the pwede. online, pwede. Pwede. Ano, pwede. Diba? There, there's real estate opportunity in the warehousing mm. then. So, if you have lands or kaya nyo gawin ng warehousing or ano, I think that's a good investment for real estate. Okay. Uh, kaya ako mag-reach ako, mag-pull fund uh, invest ko sa warehousing talaga. Kasi uh, kulang eh. Kulang yung storage natin for e-commerce or uh, there's so much opportunity. By the way, uh, while I, before I read the next question, uh, you will be in Dubai. Can you tell us more about the event as well? Para sa mga taong nanunood na gusto mong matuto pa more on real estate. Guys, uh, uh, what you're learning here, video pa lang to. Kung madami kayo natututunan in this video, how much more pag live, pag nahawakan nyo yung sobrang yaman na tao. Na <laughs> So, uh, sa mga kababayan natin sa Dubai, I will be in Hyatt Place, Al Riga from November 29 to 30. Um, please, if you can sacrifice your day off on a Friday and Saturday, please go and meet me. I promise it will be worth it. Marami kang matututunan doon na hindi narinig dito. Um, I, I, I have so much. I, I really want to help you guys be successful in real estate. Because for me, it's time to give back. Talaga. <laughs> so, tsaka guys, ano, uh, nagmumuha ko mahirap pagkatabi niya sobra. Guys, sobra. As in, so, as in sobra. Parang, aping-api ako kanina. Sobra. Di ko, Dito. <laughs> eto, tanong ni, <laughs> eto, tanong ni Maki Vido, sabi niya, what percentage of one's income is considered healthy in paying for home loan amortizations? 40% of your gross okay. income. Kasi that's the only one the bank would approve you rin. Mm. So, if your salary is 100,000, 40,000 pesos. Okay. Would be for home loan. Of course, you still um, you bought real estate. Kailangan mo pa rin mabuhay. Alam mo yan? I mean, like, you still have to do the... You still have to do your... Parang live a normal life. Hindi mm. ako parang bumili ka ng real estate. Mm. So, parang sacrifice na yung gagawin. So, just invest 40% of your gross income. So, may, may tanong ako dyan. That's a very, very good question. How about people na hindi fixed yung income like insurance agents or, or real estate ah, agents yeah. also? How, how does the bank gauge it naman? And what should they do also sa income nila? Usually, uh, ano yun eh, uh, the average daily balance nila. Mm. I know, not the average daily. Ah, tama, the average daily balance, for example, 500,000. Usually, the bank considers it, but the 10% of it, usually, yun yung considered income nila. So, mm. the considered income, I, I might be wrong, pero sa pagkakalap ko ganito. So, the the considered income is ko 500,000 yung average daily balance but the considered income is 50,000 that's 40 percent non yung pwede mo imort adi ang babdi mababa mababa siya pagdating malay mo three million yung laman ng bank so dapat so dapat so dapat malaki yung laman ng bank account nila para ano always maintain ha always maintain at saka yung mga bank may nagso surprise visit na sa mga office pero di ko alam kung napansin mo to yung mga tao they don't put everything in one bank so paka mas advantageous na nasa isang bank lahat para hindi mahati yung pera mo para kung gusto mo magloan that's true pero Pero I don't believe in putting money in oh, the bank. Yun, yeah. <laughs> yun, yun ang disadvantage. But you have to prove your liquidity mm. kasi, kasi um, there's really not much stable. Actually, now, dahil dumami na yung freelancer compared to oh, 10 years eh. before, oh. it's actually easier to get a loan kung freelancer ka okay. Compared before ako, 10 years ago. Kasi it became parang... Un- uh, self professionals became parang a normal mm. na eh. unlike oh, before. Oh, wala, wala mga ITI, RTR. Ngayon meron na. Ah, meron na. 
So okay. nagbe-base din sila dun sa okay. IDR. Ito naman from same question, same same person pa rin. Sabi niya, when to, when do you decide to purchase or rent a house or a condo? So buying or renting your home. Okay, you rent your home pagka hindi ka pa sure sa buhay mo. Like for example, okay, I'll rent a studio muna pero pagka nagka-family ako, gusto ko ng house and lot. Or probably I may be migrating in 2 to 3 years looking for uh, nag-experience lang ako dito. Then those are the times na parang magre-rent ka. If feeling mo stable ka na dito na talaga ako sa Philippines, dito ako tinanim ni Lord, dito ako uh, dito ako mag-progress, then I think it's about, at kaya ko na, then I think it's about time to buy a house. Kasi sa bagay, medyo the same lang ang rental at amortization rate. Eh. Mm. So you just have to save for your equity. Mm. So, okay. Very, very good. Eh, yun, yun yung problem, no? Kailangan na tao ng equity also, no? Hindi sila nag for the, the equity. Yeah, you, you cannot buy real estate kahit monthly. Ano pa yan? You, you, you really need Yung interesting doon sa states, may nakita ang mga videos na ibang ibang tao 3% down sa Philippines, walang walang ganun, no? wala wala tayong nakukuha ang ganun na ano, the lowest is 20. Kasi ano eh, uh, hindi actually pag good yung relationship ng developer sa bank 90. Oh. Uh, so 10% down lang siya. Yung yung LTV niya, loan to value ratio, uh, hmm. yung 1090. So mar- marami namang ganun, pero um more on high risk kasi tayo. Okay, kaya nga. <laughs> in terms of ano. So mahirap talaga uh, mag mortgage dito. So always maintain a good credit, guys. Hmm. Good score credits. Okay. Uh, yung, some of the questions here we've tackled in some of the videos that we uh, did already. So uh, this is, by the way, the third video in this series already. Balikan yun na lang uh, yung mga tanong about flipping. There's a lot of flipping questions. Eh. So sobrang galing yung sa flipping, guys. Sobrang, sobrang galing. Uh, final words na lang. Uh, three things. Final words for people na hindi pa nag invest sa real estate. Second is uh, talk about your event in Dubai. And third, you have a new book also. So yun. So. Go. Okay, so my first message sa mga hindi pa nag invest sa real estate, I, I I hope you can try, you can ano, pero do it correctly. Don't just buy real estate kasi bumili yung kapit bahay nyo or don't just buy real estate dahil uso siya ngayon. Um, buying real estate is more than that. Ano, I, I, I know it's long-term commitment, um, it's sacrificial, it's ano, pero at the end of the day, it's gonna be worth it, lalo na pag na-liquidate mo yung property. Kakaadik mag-invest sa real estate, but don't be greedy because uh, greed will uh, kill you in this game or in this industry. Okay, um, and sa mga kababayan sa Dubai, again, I will be there. Please take this chance because I was praying for this na um, someone would um, host my event sa Dubai and uh, to, to really help you guys for that purpose. This is not a selling event. This is a learning event. I know uh, marami dyan kasi pupunta real estate seminar pero they're offering something. Uh, ito talaga purely learning talaga. I hope I can share things na na-experience ko and uh, I learned the hard way so <laughs> you don't have to make the same mistakes that I did before I learned real estate. And of course, uh, lastly, I will be launching my new book on November 23. It's called The Real Pro, Becoming the Next Real Property Expert, Your Real Professional Guide to Real Estate Investing. So it will tackle uh, a lot of things about uh, the characteristics of real estate, real estate investing techniques, real estate loss. Very important. Marami nag invest real estate, akala nila walang law, pero sobrang dami. It will tackle uh, behavior towards real estate and uh, many many other things so I hope you can buy the book it will um, for orders I think next week pwede na mag pre-order sa website it's going to be at real um, just go to real pro expert the real pro expert that all right so amazing no three videos thank you so much for being thank part you, of this uh, this journey no so it's nice to see people like that because para sa akin na uh, we, we need to learn, we need to keep on enhancing this kasi yun yung magpapagaling sa inyo sa in any endeavor that you will do regardless if it's, if it's starting your own business, investing in stocks, investing in property, you need to sharpen this and I hope this three video series with uh, the CEO of Phil Gems, Richard Carval, author, sobrang yaman. I hope that uh, you guys you guys will learn a lot from, from him as well. So comment if you have any other questions that you would like to know then probably sa next series, open ka ba to do another video yes, series? I, I really like okay, doing so, video so, so we'll we'll do more also just send in your questions type real estate or type the question that you would want to have uh, on the comment section then we'll create videos for you as well so that's it for now we have Richard Carvajal here I hope this video helps you trade well trade strong trade smart see you all again soon guys and God bless you